Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler. Let me tell you about the hair analysis. Hair analysis, sometimes called a hair elements or hair toxic metal test, um, the one that I've commonly used you know, is many times just called hair analysis, which looks at not only hair metals, so antimony, arsenic, aluminum, lead, mercury, but also gives an assessment for essential elements, which are mineral levels too. So I like the combination profile. It's a very useful test to do if you're looking for a, an assessment for yourself or your child that can be taken off of a hair sample to give an accurate assessment for past exposure to heavy metals, and also give you an idea about how much metal may be being excreted. Now, hair analysis is different, let's say, than a urine analysis because a hair analysis is going to give some indication of excretion over a longer period of time, things that have generally been circulating in the body tissue you know, for 10 to 12 weeks or more, whereas a urine assessment is going to give you an idea about what's spilling in the body you know, in a more short period of time, let's say the past few days or so. So the hair analysis is often used as an entry point for heavy metal assessment, sometimes with the porphyrin analysis, which is another urine test that looks at cellular reactivity to heavy metals. And then the hair analysis can also be used in conjunction with the urine toxic metals, also called the urine heavy metal test, or the urine, or the, I should say, I should say, and or the urine essential elements profiles. So all of that gives a really good comprehensive viewpoint of a snapshot with respects to heavy metal exposure. Thanks.